Welcome back everyone. Now if you're like me and you use the Trust Wallet on the iOS, you would have seen this recent message, which states that the in-app browser has been removed per App Store guidelines. And so there's no longer a browser tab within the Trust Wallet app. I'm here to show you how you can still use the likes of PancakeSwap to purchase any type of altcoin out there. So if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. The goal like that I'm setting for this video is set to 65, so 65 thumbs up. And let's jump straight back into the video. Now let's first look into why the dApp browser has been removed from iOS. There are timestamps in the video, so if you want to go to the specific section, then do skip ahead. But as a brief summary, we have the browser that's now been removed on iOS, and that's within version 6.0. That was required to comply with Apple's App Store guidelines. Now some key callouts here is that the funds are in SAFU, which is Secure Asset Funds for Users. So completely secure there. Android users are unaffected by this change. And then the new iOS version no longer has the dApp browser. Now the reason for the removal is that Apple has very strict guidelines. One of the requirements is not to have any code embedded into the app. And so for the past year, the team's been communicating with Apple to try to resolve the issue. But Apple always takes a very hard stance when it comes to their app store and any updates that take place. Now let's look into how we resolve this issue. So the first step is to go over to pancakeswap.finance. I'll have the link in the description. On the top right hand corner, we have this connect button here. And once clicked, we then go on to wallet connect. And so within the Trust Wallet app, if we just head over to settings and then click on wallet connect, once we enable camera access, Right now I have PancakeSwap on my desktop app, so just use the mobile phone, scan in the QR code, and then on the phone we can just connect, so hit the connect button. And so within our browser we can see we're now connected, we can see that we have our address now in the top right corner, and now we can trade exactly how we used to in the past. Now I've done this process by using both my MacBook and also on my mobile, so we can repeat that process just using the in-app browser on our phone. Again, we have the connect button and then we hit on the wallet connect. And here we can click into our trust wallet, open that up, and then we get the same message that we had before. So we can just hit connect, go back to the browser, and now we are logged in. So it's actually a lot faster just using it within the mobile app, but you're free to use whichever way is more convenient for you. And so that's been a quick video to show how you can get back to using PancakeSwap on iOS devices. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. New videos are out each week. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.